So here's how you can fix invalid authorization in your TapMob account. So as you can see, I have this currently in my screen and it's actually quite easy to fix, but you wanna make sure that you watch throughout this whole video so you don't miss out on any of the important steps. So usually when it says invalid authorization, that is usually because you have entered in either A, the wrong email or B, entered in the incorrect password. So for, in this case, most of the time, it would be your password because there's no way you can mess up your email. That just doesn't make sense. So in this case, if it is your password that you have forgot or you have entered incorrectly, you wanna go ahead and click on forgot password in the red on the right hand side. And then for the password reset, you wanna enter in the same email that you have that you've logged in with. So, so go ahead and do that and then click on the submit button on the bottom. Now it says that the password reset request has been sent. So you wanna log out of TapMob and go into your Gmail. So let's switch over to my TapMob account. And as you can see at the top, there's an option tap, TapMob support password reset request. You wanna go ahead and click on that and then scroll down a little bit. And it says, we're sending you this email because you requested a password reset. So you go ahead and click on set a new password. And then that's gonna lead you into this page where you just enter in a new password and make sure that you actually remember this password for a future. So I'm just gonna enter in my password real quick and then go ahead and click on save. So in this case, I would actually keep that new password written down somewhere inside of your notes or something. And as you can see, it says password change, please log in with your new password. So then now we can delete this old password and then log in using the old new password that we have just made. Click on the sign in button just like that. And then it's gonna load for a second and then it's gonna lead you into the TapMob login page, hopefully.